hello all viewers i am harish uh, let's say today we are going to learn about the odu backend theme how to change the odu base community theme color easily so let's say currently this is the color and we are going to change the color everywhere let's say this button color right here if you open here this is the color of the font let's say this is the color for the text so we will change everywhere so for that we need to create one module so i have already created the module uh, named is odu patent team so i have given the name module name and for that here nothing is the init file so for that we need to create one scss file to apply the colors so for that i have created the uh, theme underscore style dot scss inside the uh, static src scss and i have added the file inside in the assets file so uh, let's start how to do this so first of all we need to check that how would you currently loading uh, the colors in the theme so we will check using the console to debug everything and find how they are adding the color so let's say this is the color the bottom background color right Yes, this one. So we need to check the color where the color applied in the Odu. So currently we are in the Odu community button. So we will check. Basically, Odu add uh, styles related everything code in the web module. So let's first check inside here. SCSS. So let's say here they have used color somewhere using the color attribute, but we need to find that from where they are adding color everywhere. So for that, I think this is the correct one, right? So we need to check this where this variable this is just a variable defined in the scss we can use this variable uh, everywhere globally so this will apply color so we will copy this line and this two line also so i have already added these three lines and i have added my choice color right in the scss file right and i have added this file so for that let's say they have added this file to apply the color so we need to check it from where they have added this file in the assets so currently this is inside the web module so they have added the file in xml file using assets so we need to check from where this file uh, Edit. So let's check this one, not this, but uh, inside the web module. Yeah, this is the one. So this is the template where they have added the file. So we need to inherit this template and add our file that we have created with the standard color. Now if I have already created this. Uh, template overridden template and added the our file path so link tag relations type sheet type text slash scss and the path of the scss file right 
so let's say now we will install the module i will copy the module name and go to the module and I will install I will restart first so I have added the color using the color picker you can choose any color I have added something and you can add this color to your module so here let's check my module install the module if we check the log if any error yeah it's successfully installed you can see now the color everywhere change the color which we have defined inside this file Let's check the colors. Right, this is the color. Let's say now if you, I change this color, you can see color everywhere changed. You can see here everywhere in the Odu. I search anything here and see here also change if I go to the inventory here you can see here also everywhere color change to So let's change the another color. Let's say uh, I'll copy this color code and apply to my module. And I will upgrade the module. Let's see if I upgrade the module from the terminal using this view and module name. Now if I refresh the page, now you can see color change to everywhere. You can choose your color and add to the It will apply it with the all old standards color. So it is very easy. I hope you all learn something from this tutorial. Thank you.